Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. Hope you all are doing well. So in this particular video, I'm going to discuss that what are the mistakes a gate aspirant does during their gate preparation. So as you all know, each year around 1 lakh student used to appear for gate exam. But obviously all of them are not serious about gate, but around like 5,000 to 10,000 students are serious about gate exam and they prepare seriously for gate exam. And they all aspire to have a gate rank around top 100 or top 500 so that you know they can reach to a good IIT and pursue their MTech from that IIT or IISC. But you know around only 500 to 1000 students used to be in that top 1000 rank and rest all are kind of a failure. They, they don't reach to their desired rank so that they can, they can pursue their MTech from any good IITs or IISC. But why so? What are the mistakes a gate aspirant does? Because of that, despite doing a lot of hard work, lot of you know study, they can't you know achieve a very good gate rank. And this is something that is very serious. So there are few mistakes that everyone does during their gate preparation, and because of that, they fail to be in a you know good good rank and eventually in a, in a good IIT. And I personally have experienced it during my failed attempt between 2014 to 2016 when I was working really hard but I was doing some mistakes because of that I was not getting the rank I was desired for and I have seen it with many other people also like people used to do a lot of hard work but eventually they don't get a rank that they were they were expecting so in this particular video I'll be I'll be discussing few of those mistakes that a gate aspirant does so that you know the future aspirants who will be aspiring for next year gate they, they should avoid these mistakes to ensure that you will have a very good gate rank in in gate 2023 so that will be the topic of today's video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video if you are new to this particular channel if you are watching this video for the first time so do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly without further ado let's get started into today's video First common mistake that uh, aspirants used to do is the rote learning or memorizing things without understanding the real topic. So the one common thing about these gate aspirants is that, that most of the students who are aspiring for gate, they are from tier 2 or tier 3 colleges and they have this habit that they used to remember a lot of things without understanding a particular topic. So I am also from a uh, from a tier 2 or tier 3 colleges and I have done a BTEC from a similar kind of college. So I understand this problem uh, very, very closely that we who are from a tier 2 or tier 3 college, we have this habit that you know, during our BTEC, what we used to do is that we used to remember a lot of things before the exam and somehow we will write that thing in the exam and we will pass the exam without understanding that particular topic. So this habit, this habit is really very harmful and this will propagate uh, into the student's life when he is preparing for the gate exam as well. Uh, because, you know, in the gate, whenever you will find something very difficult, very tricky, you tend to remember that thing, you tend to practice a lot of questions related to that topic so that you hope that a similar question will come into the gate exam and you will write the correct answer for the particular question and you will pass the gate exam. But that is not true because in, in IITs and IISC, how many questions you will solve, they will always frame a new question to, to test your understanding or test you that whether you understand the basic of the concept or not. So that's why to succeed in the gate exam, the first thing is that you have to understand each topic very well so that you have a good sound knowledge of the topic rather than memorizing those, those few concepts. So that's why, you know, you have to really know well that particular topic so that you can do well in the gate exam. So that's why, you know, if you are from a, from a environment, uh, from tier to tier three colleges where you are memorizing things during your uh, BTEC days. So you have to leave that habit and you have to focus more on understanding a particular topic and you have to uh, you know focus on learning the learning the basic concept of each subject so that you can do well in the gate exam next is solving previous year questions so i have seen you know students are not solving the previous year question that much they are focusing on solving different question banks from different coaching institutions and different other sources but they are sometimes reluctant reluctant on solving the previous year question so this is one of the biggest mistakes that they used to do because 
which ever different sources the questions you are solving they are not that much standard and previous year questions are some sort of questions which is being set up by the you know skillful professor or you know experts from the iit so that's why those are the standard questions available for the gate exam and you should focus more on solving the gate question rather than solving questions from different different other other resources because even questions from different other resources they are not even reliable also even sometimes you will find a lot of lot of you know answering error is there and lot of other error is there even in the question also there are there should be the error so that's why you should, your focus should be first of first primary focus should be solving the previous year question that has been said by different iits or isc and also uh, the other thing is that whenever you will be solving the previous year question i have seen that students are you know kind of in a hurry to see the solution so that is also one thing that 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 is a mistake that uh, you know as parents need to do that you shouldn't be hurry to solve you know see the solution and how the how the problem is being solved rather than whenever you are you, you are facing the problem for the first time you should give enough time to read the read the question and understand the question i mean what is been asked by the question what are the information given to that particular question to be solved so all of these things you need to understand and then you should try your best to solve that question and then you should move to the solution so please keep this in mind that you shouldn't be hurry to go to the solution page and see the answer because uh, that 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 is something you know that is that don't help you much because in the exam hall you will be having a different set of questions then there will be no solution so that's why whenever you are you are you are finding a new question read the question question itself is a is is something that that you need to detect that what are the information is given in that particular question what is being asked so try to understand them give enough time to solve that particular question and if you can't solve it after giving enough time then go to the solution so this is something you should always keep in your mind the third and final mistake is people don't give much mock test and they don't analyze the mock test that they are giving so this is something that is very serious because you know in gate as i always say that 70% to 80% is what you are preparing but the rest 20% is how you are giving the exam in the exam hall on the gate exam day and for that you need to you know practice how to manage the time during the exam and how to handle the pressure of a exam hall situation so that you can you can expert expertise by giving a lot of mock tests so during the mock test you have to understand that whenever the questions are coming too much difficult then how to how to react if the question are coming too much easy then how to react so all of these things this situation you 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 can you can you know practice during your gate um, during your mock test so that's why mock test is really really very important and you should give enough mock test so that you know you can understand that how to react in different situation in the final day uh, during the examination and the second mistake is whenever you giving the mock test you should analyze them properly because if you are just giving the mock test and and you know you are getting some marks but if you are not analyzing because there are lot of lot of mistakes you will be doing lot of silly mistakes and lot of conceptual mistakes that you will be doing that you need to rectify and for that you need to analyze each of the mock test that you are giving uh, because this is something that i personally have felt uh, realized uh, during my preparation for gate 2016 so i was giving a lot of mock test that year but you know i was not analyzing them and that's why you know i don't have any idea what are my weak points what are my strong points what are the silly mistakes i am doing and you know lot of silly mistakes i committed during the final exam on 2016 and i couldn't make it to top top 100 and these things i i, I rectified during my 2017 preparation and finally i got a pretty good gate rank so that's why i'm saying that you know giving mock test is very important because you need to understand how to manage the hall pressure how to you know how to manage the time during those 3 hours of gate exam and also you know whenever you're giving the mock test analyzing the mock test is also very important because you need to know what are your strong points what are your weak points what are the silly mistakes you are doing so that you can rectify them and you won't you 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 won't repeat it in the final exam and that will help you to achieve the rank that you are aspiring for yeah that's it guys that's it about today's video i personally feel these are the three common mistakes each aspirant used to do and because of that despite of so many hard work so many people used to fail in the gate exam and as you know the failure rate in gate gate is quite high than the success rate and that is because people are doing any of these three mistakes and if you if you if you do any of them your gate gate final rank will be affected so that's why please keep it into mind these three mistakes takes you shouldn't do uh, during your preparation so that you know you can you can have a pretty good gate rank at the end of the 
uh, gate exam so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like this video so if you like this video please like it and share this video to many other aspirants so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye